to finish well is first of all to ask yourself this question. Am I keeping His commandments? You know, God said, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Amen. And He's saying, asking you and me, are we keeping His commandments? And what are those commandments? Well, there's, a, there's uh, at least ten of them uh, listed. But Jesus said the two most important was... Uh, in Matthew 22, 38, 39, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. That's the first and great commandment Jesus said. And second is likened to it is that if we will love our neighbor as ourselves. Yes. Do you really love the Lord? Have you told Him lately that you love Him? You know, He's a real person. He has the same... Uh, compassion, the same feelings that you and I do. We are created in His image. Therefore, He has feelings that uh, of affection toward you and He likes to hear you tell Him you love Him. Amen. Oh yeah. Uh, you, you know, there may be some things that's happened in your life that, that, that have disappointed you. There may be some things that didn't work out in your life the way you uh, wanted them to. But it's not God's fault. God is, God, God, the Bible says, Jesus, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Satan is the one's coming to kill, steal, and destroy. So if you love the Lord and you want to finish well, remind the Lord and tell him you love him. Tell him, thank you. Tell him, Lord, I appreciate what you've done for me this week. I appreciate uh, the way you have uh, restored my health. Lord, I appreciate the job that you've given me. Lord, I appreciate the job you're going to give me. Lord, I appreciate the good health that you are going to give me. Pray praise and prayer to the Lord uh, and let Him know that you love Him. Yes. <coughs> Maybe there was a time you did love the Lord and you expressed that love, but something happened and you haven't done that in a while. You need to finish well. Amen. You need to, to finish this Christian walk well. And I'm going to tell you in a few minutes why it's so important for you to finish. Just like in a sports game, in a sports team, the coach will tell their team, it's very important that you play in football, you play all four quarters. You know, you might have played the first three quarters, great. We may be ahead... Uh, 30 to 6, but the game's not over yet. And we need to finish what the Lord has started in our lives. Amen. Another way you can know that you're finishing well is to look at your priorities in your life. Do you love the Lord Jesus and, and, and His work more than other things? 1 John 2.15 says, Do not love the world and the things of this world, and if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If you ask the Lord about His opinion on things that you're doing, things that how you're living, uh, who you're associating with, the activities that that God uh, is giving you the opportunity to do, are, are you asking? Would you invite the Lord Jesus Christ to go out and hang out with you and your friends? Would you take Jesus with you on Friday night and Saturday night to where you go? Would you uh, sit down in your living room and watch the, the programs on TV with Jesus that you watch? The Bible tells us not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit is that part of God that is in you today. And Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Well, who He was talking about was the third part, part, person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. He is in you and He never leaves you. He goes with you wherever you go. Yes. He watches whatever you watch. Now the Bible says that we can grieve the Holy Spirit. And that means make the Holy Spirit uh, just bow His head and, and weep over the things that you're doing. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God who has sealed you unto the day of redemption. If you grieve the Holy Spirit and you constantly, He's constantly 
trying to talk to you about loving Him and loving the Father and loving Jesus, and you constantly ignore Him and you choose to follow the things of the world, you're not finishing well. You're not, you're not finishing the work that God has uh, given you to do. You're not glorifying your Father which is in heaven. The Bible says in 1 John 1, 6, if we say that we have fellowship with Him, if we say we're a Christian, if we say we're one of the 11% of people in this whole world that believes in the death, burial, resurrection, and the second coming of Christ, if we are one of those that, that Jesus was speaking to, He says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. If we say that we have fellowship with Him and we walk in darkness, we are liars. And we do not practice the truth. Right. One of these days we're going to stand before the Lord and, and uh, whether if, if your priorities are not right, if your life is not right, uh, you're going to be disappointed in what the Lord has to say to you about your future in heaven or the things that He has prepared for you. Well, a third way that you can know if you're going to finish well is how much do you love his church and his work. How much do you care about what goes on in, in the thing that he loves the most? You know, the Bible says that in Ephesians 5, 25, Christ also loved the church and he gave himself for it. Amen. I mean, Christ loved you enough and me enough that he just gave his whole uh, life for me and you. How many times do you attend the worship services? How many times do you open your Bible and actually read it? How many times do you uh, uh, say a prayer for other people that are struggling and hurting in their lives? How many times do you spend with other church members in fellowship and in, in time of, uh, of, of uh, Christian activities? The Bible says this in 1 John 3, 14. We know that we have passed from death into life. We know that we're truly Christians. We know that we have eternal life. If we love the Christian brothers and sisters, he who does not love his Christian brother or sister abides in death or does not or is not really a Christian. Jesus said this in John 13, 35, By this all shall know that you are my disciples if you have love one for another very important that you finish well because finishing last in God's work is, is pitiful it's, it's, it's a disaster you know you may you may finish uh, last in a football season a baseball season another sports you may finish last and you will get probably get another opportunity the next year to get on a different team and have that opportunity to to redeem yourself but you only have one chance to, to walk this Christian life Amen. and be a part of God's yes. uh, kingdom and part of God's work. James 2, 14 and 17, it says, What does it profit, my brothers and sisters, if someone says that they have faith and they do not work, they do not love, they do not show each other <coughs> the, 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 uh, the compassion and the love that Christ showed them, can faith save them alone no even so faith if it does not have works being dead it's alone and it's dead yes. now i've told you how and why you can know how you can know if you're going to finish well but let me give you a a positive challenge let me give you some